Today's book haul comes to you in four parts. Part one, books on my nook. So, except for one of these books, every book on here is was a free download from the Nook store. And the one that wasn't was Tales from the Hood, which is the sixth book in the Grim Sister series by Michael Buckley. And this is just a continuation of the series, which I hope to finish in July. The next book is Darkness Falls by Jessica Sorensen. I don't remember much about this except for the synopsis, which said that basically this girl comes from a perfect society or society that strives for perfection and something went wrong, either she messed up or something happened and now she has to deal with the consequences of that. Uh, I don't really know what it's about, so other than that... The next book that I got is Georgiana Darcy's Diary by Anna Elliot. This is a Pride and Prejudice continuation. Also free and that's all I really know about it. Um, the next book is called The Little Dragons. It is by Rowan Star Smith. If that is that person's actual name, that is awesome. But I have to say, that definitely sounds like a pseudonym. I don't remember much about this. It sounded like there was some kind of journey going on in this. I literally picked it up because the word dragon was in the title. Book, and the last book off my nook is Tomorrow's Sun by Becky Melby. This sounds like it is a book that has two separate timelines that are interconnected. There's like the present timeline and I think there's the past timeline which takes place during the Underground Railroad. Um, that's all I really know about it and that, that's what the book sounded like to me. Part 2. Physical books that I bought. So the physical books that I bought are High School Debut Volume 1 and Volume 2, which is actually the reason why it's taken me until the end of June to get my June book all up, because it took like two weeks for it to get here. Oh, these are both by Kazune Kawahara, and these follow the a girl named um, Haruna, totally fraud her name, as she tries to go through high school and get a boyfriend, except she is probably one of the most clueless people out there. It was A Game of Thrones by George R. Uh, a Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. If you watched my video where I basically said I was reading this book and then when I went to renew it, it went from having no one wanting this book to literally every single copy being checked out and then there being a waiting list and I had to return it, so I should just bought my copy and I have read a few more chapters in it, um, but now that I own it, I can read it at a much slower pace. I don't have like the three week window. Three, which is books I checked out from the library this time. So the last few times I've been going to the library, I've been getting like two or three books and then lots of manga. But this time, because I finished the Fruits Basket manga, I decided to in fact get other books. Because, you know, June is coming to an end, so I've had, like, my breather kind of relaxing month. It was supposed to be a challenge month, but then as a result I ended up reading lots and lots of manga. Um, so, let's start with these books that are back here piled high on my bed. Continuing with the manga, however, we have volumes 7 and 8 of the 15-volume D and Angel series by Yukiru Sugisaki. I can say that name, but only when I'm looking at it, which is kind of frustrating. So I'm still getting the manga from my library, I'm just like not getting 11 volumes at once. Um, then we got Dune by Frank Herbert. This was recommended to me by my brother. This is I think his favorite book of all time. So I'm looking forward to reading this. Then we have A Very Grim Guide, which is the companion book to the Grim Sisters series. I probably shouldn't have read this before finishing the series because I was spoiled on quite a few things, like who the leader of the Scarlet Hand is, and found out some things happened to some characters that I didn't think would happen, and you know. 
So don't read this book if you haven't read the series yet, because as River Song would say, spoilers. That was my best River Song impression. I am terrible at impressions. Then we have The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. Or Tolkien. I don't know how you say the last name. I've heard it pronounced both ways so many times. I figure I'll give this book another chance because getting me reading the first paragraph going this is boring when I was 14 I might have a completely different opinion at 22. The library when I went to the library I went to get The Serpent Shadow which is the third book in the Kane Chronicles series and instead I came back with The Lost Hero and The Son of Neptune this is what happens when they don't have the book I want. I also picked up Sloppy Firsts by Megan McCafferty. Um, this was recommended to me by Read First, Write Second. I believe I asked her to give me some books from her contemporary YA because she reads a lot more contemporary than I do. And this was one of the books she recommended. And so I figured with all of the fantasy and sci-fi that I've been getting, I should get something that isn't that. So I picked up this one. I have no idea what it's about other than it's the first book in the Jessica Darling series. This pile is getting kind of high. I mean... Ooh. The final two books that I got were City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare and City of Glass by Cassandra Clare. Basically when I said I was going to read the City of Bones series, I did not expect to go to the library the next day and find the second and third volumes of the book series there and I was like, okay, I guess I'm continuing this series because I don't know when they're going to be back in here after this. Those are all of the books that I checked out from the library. And now we move on to part four of this book haul. And part four is my June things I'm into because there wasn't really a lot. I've been doing the usual stuff, ARAM and League of Legends. I played Neverwinter instead of filming videos for you guys. I... What else? I've started watching the seventh series... Seventh? Eighth? seventh. The seventh series of Doctor Who. Um, I have only watched The Lovely Bones, so it's pretty much been a pretty slow month because it was my June challenge mode and I was doing a lot of reading. If you haven't been able to tell, I've been into a lot of manga this month. I went from being almost at the 40 book challenge complete, or the 50 book challenge complete, to having almost 80 books read, if not 80 by the time this video goes up or June is over. The only real thing I've been into this month is the anime, anime Kaze no Stigma, and it made me really sad to find out that the reason this particular anime didn't continue was because the manga author died and so the series is incomplete and will never be complete the way the author intended. So that was kind of saddening, but I really enjoyed that anime and there will be a review up for that anime at some point. I have a lot of anime reviews to do. I might end up just doing a week of anime reviews or something. So but then again, maybe not. Maybe just one a week, two a week, who knows. So uh, where was I? I will be back tomorrow because that is all for today. Tomorrow I will have my June wrap up for you and then the day after I'll have my July TBR where we return to the traditional setup of four books a month. And until then, talk to you later.